Hi everyone, it's Jacqueline, JW Van Minimal. How are you? So I um, started to, well, I was just out taking a walk in the park in the city here. We have lots of beautiful parks in our city, I have to say. And um, there are a few people in the park, but for the most part, the park is pretty blank, pretty, what do you call it, deserted. So here's a little area. What is this? You play ball and things like that. They have a beautiful map or something that, I think it's the map of the United States. But right on the ground here, I don't think I could show it. There's this game. I remember it, but I don't think I know how to play that game. I don't know if I played it or I just remember it. Then there's this four square game. Let's see if I could show that. Some of you remember that game. Yep, and then there's this map of the U.S. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it, but I think it's beautiful. There it is, the map. And then they have the swings over there. So this is just one of the parks. It's a beautiful, like I said, uh, our area has great parks, I have to say. I mean, just beautiful. And they should be utilized. I know that we're having this pandemic going on, but... You know, social distancing is like, you know, you can do that. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, but not to be out. It's about 80 degrees out here, which is great. Just to give you a quick walking tour. I might turn the phone around. You guys know I can't switch it for whatever reason, but I could turn it around. So let me try that. So you could see what I'm seeing. Hopefully you can hear me okay. So here is different aspects of this park. It was close to where I was, so you can find a park anywhere in the city close to where you are. Here is, I don't know, I think it may have been the volleyball net or something. They don't have the nets up, I guess, because of whatever is happening. There's another. I remember people playing volleyball here, but I guess they took them down. And... When I decided to pull this phone out to record, it was this little section right here that I'm trying to figure out what it is. So I'm going to walk over there because they have tennis courts, if you can see in front of me right here. And I have no idea what this section is. It's kind of interesting, weird. If anybody knows, let me know. I guess I have to check into it. It's got... A fence seating area that's kind of interesting okay keep going this is a smaller park I mean it's you know maybe four blocks a square um, there's the part right here if you guys could see where I'm pointing uh, the building there I think that is I know the bathrooms are in there but I think you could probably utilize it. Well, not now, of course, but you could utilize it for events. I'm not 100% sure, but many of our parks have little buildings where you could actually have events in them. Hope the phone isn't too shaky. Um, this park is nearer to where my daughter lives, but um, they usually have a farmer's market here. I don't know what day. I only came a couple of times. It was okay, you know. Here's the tennis courts. And then I passed by the splash pad. I'm going to see if I could show you. I don't want to zoom in or anything if you could see it from here. But they have a little splash pad and they are letting kids in there. Maybe it's limited, but there are a few children in there with their parents that are like watching over them. There's this beautiful tree. Look at that. I love that. I'm just sort of weirded out that... More people aren't outside, like, enjoying this. I think we can heal quicker if we get out, out of doors and do things. So, I'm headed over to those big, giant mushroom thingies. The last time I was here, it was actually last year. I haven't been to this park since last year. Time really does fly by, you guys. We have to enjoy life. I always say, YOLO, you only live once. Look at that big, giant, beautiful isn't that a gorgeous tree? 
Can you see it? Look at that. I wonder how old that is. Look how wide it is. Wow. So the last time I was here was last year. I think maybe it was maybe maybe it was a farm. I've been here more than once, but once I came for the farmer's market, it was like I said, okay, it wasn't nothing to go home and write write about. Uh, but then they had a little concert here, like in the building that I showed you earlier. Now, I'm not going to walk back over there, but where there's some swings sort of over there, if you can see where I'm pointing, there's like a little, it's more like an atrium. And then the atrium has like a little step up thing that looked like it may have been uh, not a band shell per se, but a place where people could actually perform just the way it's made. You can enter on both sides. And, um, but when I came last year, the building that I was referring to there, that's where they had the concert. Like the people from the concert, um, the performers, they were either on the ground, on the steps, but it was like right at that building, which didn't make sense to me because they have this beautiful, I don't know how well you can see where those little arches are. It's a beautiful little setting where you can actually just bring your lawn chairs or your blanket. It's enough room. There's only one tree there um, where you can get quite a few people in that spot and actually see a performance without any problems at all. Uh, but the concert was there. I don't understand some of this stuff. Now, I have, do have to say, uh, where were the, the people that were selling things? Seemed like they were somewhere covered. So maybe they were in that spot. But either way, I digress. But I just feel like, you know, sometimes people make weird decisions. And then uh, this is new. I'm going to see. Hopefully you can see right here. There's like the two trees and then like a little hill. That is a new little spot. It's almost like a mini rock climbing. I'm not going to walk back over there because I already did my circuit on the park. But it's a cute spot. Good for kids. I can see a lot of kids falling and scraping their knee and bumping their uh, mouth and <laughs> having a bloody mouth. Because they have these little tree stumps that you kind of balance yourself on and walk on them. And I, I just think about my grandson. He falls at the drop of a pin. So uh, I can see him trying to run across the logs and fall and trip and scrape his knee and bust his lip and all of that. But that's what they have there. It's a cute little um, space for, like, exercise movement. And then this little spot I really like. So if you can see the trees, um, it's a little sitting area. And I was here last time. I was checking to see if these little seats move around, but they don't. Then you have this little canopy here. It doesn't really protect anything. It's just very beautiful, though. Seems like it might rain later. It was raining really hard yesterday, by the way. It was thundering and lightning, and my car got wet in the inside. And I decided to come here and park and see if I can dry off my floor. Because the rain got inside my car, you guys. It's terrible. So I have used the towel to kind of blot up some of the moisture, and I hung it on the fence. I'm headed back that way, and it uh, the towel is still pretty wet. I mean, there's no, you might hear some wind now, but the wind is not really that vibrant. So, um, but I'm just looking at this beautiful location. I bet I can stop by many parks, not all, because the park that's by my house is a little more active just because... They have a basketball court that's highly utilized, even in the midst of what's happening. Um, they have a, they have tennis courts. Nobody uses them. They have a pool that's not open. They have a splash pad for little kids. And it's a pretty large park. Um, and people like to go there, walk their dogs. It's surrounded. Well, this is surrounded by a, a vibrant residential neighborhood. But uh, where I live, my park is... A lot bigger and um, it used to be the county zoo by the way back in the day I guess in the 1800s up until like 1960 or something like that so it's pretty large and you know you're still not going to be on top of anyone there isn't a bunch of kids playing on any of the swing sets because parents are being very proactive about that you'll see a few like even here, you, if you can see there's kids over there swinging on the swings. Their parents are there. 
given them permission. This whole situation is kind of weird to me in the first place, so who knows. But I am, I guess I am a little closer to the building because my car is parked over there. And you could see the little splash pad, possibly. There's somebody still in there. Um, and there's the little area right behind the splash pad where I feel like they should do concerts. But for some reason, the concert was like right here. Right in the sun. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, they have the this on the other side of the sand pit where they usually play volleyball. And here's a closer look at the building. Excuse the shaking if it's happening. I have the phone in a weird position. And then they have, I think it's a baseball field, which, like I said, have been totally underutilized for, you know, the greater part of the spring and summer. And I don't see that changing just because of the situation. So that's what's going on. Thought I'd pop in, give you a little bit of nature. I'm going to be, uh, let me turn my phone back around, like the getaway. <laughs> To get away. I'm going to be um, putting up my little eBay shop. What else have I been doing? I've been doing a lot of uh, gathering of items, vintage items for my eBay shop, which would have been the way had I been traveling, like um, traveling for uh, van life or whatever. That's how I was going to be earning some money. I do have a business that I could probably do some things. So, um, but that's what I was doing. I had started collecting things and I've been collecting even more things recently to use on my eBay shop and just give it a whirl. It's something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So I'm going to check it out. Uh, let's see if you see, uh, maybe not. Oh, there's the towel that was drying the floor in my car. I'm going to take it. It's not even dry, not even close, but I have to get going. I have some things to do. Nice seeing you guys, talking to you. Jacqueline, DWI Minimal. I will see you guys on the other side. Have a great day.